Hello guys, thank you for watching. I'm Radu. So uh, I prepare a, a good sleep for uh, today. Uh, let's uh, don't forget that it's a Champions League uh, final and uh, the best match in Europe uh, for this uh, year is uh, now. Is today. Today we will see uh, the Champions League final and uh, this is the best match in Europe. I mean, when talking about groups, not national teams, but uh, this year we will see also the best match in uh, national teams, uh, the final of the European uh, uh, champion. Uh, so, I think one of the finalists would be uh, Germany, but let's see uh, how things uh, will happen. Uh, for now, let's uh, pay attention here and uh, start with uh, the sleep. It's a mixed sleep, it's mixed sleep, let's say like this. So, uh, how we start? We start with uh, tennis. Tennis, uh, it's uh, Juan Garros. And uh, uh, the game is Alexander Zverev against uh, Teron Grigspur. Uh, so, here I think uh, that uh, Zverev uh, we see him uh, how he start. We see how he starts. So uh, I think uh, he'll have no problems here. I think uh, Zverev needs to win this. We'll see if we are right or not. But uh, after his uh, start uh, in France, uh, I cannot uh, bet against him. Just uh, cannot. If uh, not. Uh, uh, Sinner or Alcaraz against, uh, I don't know, what I see, it's uh, magnificent. Just uh, Zverev looks in really good form, so we'll see. Uh, the next one is the final. It's the final for the Champions League. Uh, so here, uh, last finals, uh, we see are uh, with, without uh, many goals. Uh, they are uh, with less uh, less goals, but uh, what I check, there is no draw. Yeah, in the Champions League final, uh, there is no draw uh, here, and uh, it's a risky bet. Uh, what I put, I put uh, under three goals, under three goals. That means that if uh, just three goals in the final, they score three goals, we will not lose this leap. We will not lose this sleep, guys. Uh, that's why I mark here under three goals. Uh, because it's uh, okay. I think uh, we will not see many goals. Uh, you remember um, Dortmund against uh, Paris. Everybody expected uh, many goals, but, but we see just one goal in game first and uh, just one go in second game. So here it's possible. I think we'll see two goals. I'll see, uh, I think we'll see two goals, but it could be also one or no goals. That's why I'll put uh, under three goals. Uh, let's see uh, the next one. It's against tennis. It's uh, Holger Rune against Josef Kovalik. This game is not so sure as Kovalik is not so bad, but uh, I just think uh, on clay Rune, uh, Rune is better player and uh, he'll need to win. That's my opinion. Uh, sorry for uh, Kovalik fans, but uh, I think uh, Rune will win this. Uh, the next one, it's an uh, interesting game. It's in uh, South Korea. It's uh, Seoul Elend against uh, Gyeongnam. So here I think that the home team will will win. Also here is possible. Uh, here good bet is uh, more than 1.5 goals. It's uh, 1.22, but uh, I need this big odd, and that's why I'll give uh, home team to win because it's in Korea, and in Korea uh, too often home teams uh, make wins. Uh, I also talk about uh, Hunchan to uh, win, but uh, 
I, I skip this game just uh, to be more more safe because uh, two games from South Korea are strange. Uh, the next one is against tennis. It's Elena Rybakina uh, against Elis Mertens. So here everything uh, except Rybakina 2-0 win is surprise. Yeah, everything else except Rybakina to win 2-0 is a surprise. Uh, that's why mm, I cannot give other except uh, Elena Rybakina to win this match. I was thinking uh, about uh, Elis Mertens uh, points to play this on points, but uh, I decided to play really safe and sure and that's why I put uh, Rybakina to win. Uh, the next one is tennis again and uh, I put uh, Rina Sabalenka to win uh, against um, Badosa, Pava Badosa, but uh, I think Sabalenka is a uh, really good player on uh, tennis and uh, she's got uh, experience, so I think she'll win. Uh, the next game would be really interesting, it's against tennis, of course. It's uh, Tyler Fritz against uh, Tanasi Kukinas, uh, Kukinakis. But uh, here, here I think uh, that uh, Tyler Fritz uh, must win this uh, game, so uh, he'll uh, play... Uh, he'll give his best uh, to win this game, because... Uh, uh, for now, games looks easy, but they are not. Uh, you saw uh, today what Rublev uh, did, uh, and uh, it's a big surprise. Also, I was thinking to try this match, but uh, the odd is really good. Uh, the the guy uh, who won over uh, Rublev uh, yesterday won against uh, Gael Monfils. And uh, this guy is uh, just uh, 17 years old. Uh, he, uh, not 17, 19, 19 years old. Uh, this, uh, this boy uh, was uh, behind uh, top uh, 100, but uh, he won over top 6 player. He won over top 6 player. Uh, as Riblov and uh, it's really, really interesting game. The opponent of Rebloff Executor uh, is Stefano Tsitsipas. Tsitsipas is the uh, opponent and uh, this game uh, looks really interesting but it's on clay and uh, that's why I think uh, uh, Tsitsipas will lose. Tsitsipas will lose this uh, game. Also I like uh, Alex de Minor to win because of the odd. Uh, these two games uh, will give you around 8 thought, guys. Uh, around 8 thought. Uh, if you have uh, one football game or other sport, it will give really good thoughts to try. Uh, to try if you are interesting, of course. If you uh, don't like this, uh, it's not needed to try. But uh, that's uh, what I was uh, thinking. So the next one is uh, Hiroshima Sanfrecce against uh, Jubilu Iwata. I think uh, the home team Hiroshima uh, will will win this. That's uh, my opinion. But keep in mind that here in this game is very possible both to score. It's very possible both to score. Also, it's very possible draw. Yeah, it looks uh, crazy, but it's uh, possible also draw. So I think that uh, this uh, Hiroshima win would happen. The next game is Novak Djokovic against uh, Lorenzo Musetti. So uh, all of us. Uh, knew who is uh, Novak Djokovic and uh, what he is capable of doing. Uh, he is here in France uh, to win the title uh, because uh, he is looking for his fourth, fourth title in France. Four. Uh, title number four in France. And, uh, well, I think uh, he's got uh, some chances, but uh, in my opinion, just uh, Sinner and uh, Alcaraz uh, 
we'll see um, these two guys on the semi-final. So I think that uh, we will see final before final of uh, Juan Garros at uh, semi. But uh, we will see it's unpredictable uh, semi-final. We'll see what uh, Novak will do. I support him, of course, and uh, that's why I put uh, Novak Djokovic uh, to win this match. Uh, the next game, I think it's uh, not needed uh, any comment. It's uh, Yannick Sinner against uh, Quarantin uh, Mutet. So, in this game, I think Yannick Sinner will win. Also, I think that uh, if uh, Quarantine made uh, more than uh, more than 11, 11 uh, more than uh, 11 uh, games uh, in the match more than 11 games in the match it would be great success to him it would be great success to him so here for me Yannick Sinner not needed any comment free win Free win, that's what I would say. Say this is the best, most sure match in all. You know, no basketball, no football, nothing more is more sure than Yannick Sinner win. Well, it's 99.9%. So it's uh, <laughs> it's a win. Uh, we'll see uh, Yannick Sinner in the semi final for me and uh, he'll play against uh, Carlos Alcaraz and uh, that will be the final of uh, Rwanda Garros not the real final but semi-final for me would be best match in the in, in France thank you for watching guys see you